Right, um, you're going to have to bear with me with this guide. I'm afraid I've done no prep work for this at all, and this is all from memory, um, and I've not done this for probably the best part of a year. So, um, first thing you're going to need to do is create a backup of your build. So you can use the community builds add-on to do that, um, or you can manually just zip up your user data folder. So. Um, sorry, not your user data folder, your hidden XBMC folder. So I'm just going to go to my one. I'm on Windows here, and that's in Windows. You just type in app data with the uh, percent signs around it, and you'll see you've got XBMC, and this is all the uh, the hidden files. So we've got our add-ons in here, our user data, and all sorts. Now, when you use the add-on to back up what you will end up with is a zip file similar to that one there um, it'd be called uh, backup now what that will do is it will just have contents of things that are in here all the main things that you need so it'll have your add-ons and it'll have your user data um, now a lot of that stuff we're going to find isn't needed but more importantly to make it universal uh, there's going to be a lot of things that need changing so let's just open this one I'm going to extract this one um, close that and as you can see this is it looks as though this has been done on a Mac um, I've got a feeling to be quite honest it may even be an Android build um, but it's previously been on a Mac computer hence the Mac uh, folder there so we'll uh, we'll extract that and then what we do is we're going to copy that to our XBMC directory and we'll see how that performs in Windows now I'm hoping that this is actually going to um, have a few errors things like uh, artwork won't load up uh, due to the fact that it's it's pointing towards physical locations so um, you know, it's, it could be pointing to a particular uh, user's profile folder, uh, and obviously that doesn't exist on this particular computer because um, this is a completely different user's build that they've sent me. So uh, I'm going to go back to my XBMC folder now. So this is my existing one. Um, so I'd highly recommend backing that up somewhere. Just keep a copy of this, and, and in here, this is your whole setup everything about your XBMC setup is in here um, I don't actually need that this is an old build and I can just delete that so I'm just going to delete that are you sure yes <clears throat> and then all I've got to do is once this is extracted I'm going to copy that into my um, my old XBMC folder there so there you can see that's gone that's still extracting it's a massive file it was one and a half over one and a half gig big so we're going to try and make that quite a bit smaller so uh, I'm just going to pause now and come back to that in a sec okay that's finished extracting so you can see there it's extracted to there so all I'm now going to do is copy over the user data and add-ons folder over to this one here um, now like I say we could use so you can see there that's 1.62 gig which is absolutely massive there's no reason it needs to be that big um, but you can um, you know you can use the XBMC add-on if you prefer to work uh, to copy this over um, if you was to do that if you do have a different zip name um, other than backup.zip you must name it backup.zip for it to uh, for it to install via the add-on and that's uh, case sensitive I believe as well so it has to be a, a lowercase uh, backup uh, even the letter B has to be lowercase right so that's copying over there now I'll just quickly explain what needs removing so we're going to have in here we are going to have add-on data that's held in the user data folder if you use the add-on to do your backup your community builds add-on it will give you the option of whether or not you want to delete this folder um, if you do choose that option make sure you've done a full backup first of your build because um, there is no getting it back once it's gone it's gone uh, but I'll just show you what's in there so here we go so we've got our add-ons and then we've got our user data all this stuff here 
add-on data. Now this is the important one. Even if you uninstall an add-on, it still keeps the user data. Okay, so this is where all your passwords and your login information and add-on settings are stored. So this is very important that you delete any sensitive data in here. Um, obviously some add-ons, you know, if you're sharing with the community, you will want to keep the user data. You know, they might be uh, user data that you set up specifically. So for example, PVR, IP, TV, simple. Right, so that's the simple um, PVR client for live TV. Now I know that has been set up, that's been set up to the VW25 list. Um, so we want to keep that one. But there's also other things in here, such as sporting streams. Now that's going to have login information. And all the user needs to do is install uh, sporting streams and it will automatically pick up any old login information and they will be using your existing passwords. So make sure you delete anything in here. Like I say, the add-on has the option to delete all this for you, um, so you don't have to do it, but like I say, uh, there are some things that we're going to want to keep. So I, I know that I can delete all of that. We don't need any of that. So I'm just going to delete that. So that's going to clear up a bit of space. Um, the Aeon MQ5 data. Oops, sorry. Uh, that's empty, so I can delete that one, yeah. We've got the artist slideshow, possibly keep that one, keep that one. Probably don't need that, 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 that. Um, URL resolver, if you know, you probably don't want to keep that. I mean, users will probably want to set that up themselves in case they've got premium resolvers set up already. And Ah, the Aeon MQ5 Extras Pack, now I believe that is pretty massive, but it's probably needed in this build, so I'm going to keep that one, delete all the rest in between. I don't need that. Weather Underground no longer exists, so that's broken. Uh, we'll keep Weather Yahoo. And these can just be got rid of, they're just uh, basic uh, temporary files. So that already looks a lot better. As you can see, we've, we've saved quite a bit of room there. Um, another thing that we're going to want to do is the thumbnails. Now, let's just see how big this is. 346 megabytes, the thumbnails. Now, that's just cached thumbnails. We do not need those. Um, XBMC will auto-generate uh, thumbnails on boot if they don't exist. So we can delete that whole folder. So that's going to make a massive difference already. And uh, again, the DS store we don't need. I mean, it's only a small file, but um, they just annoy me, to be honest. <laughs> and uh, what else we have? Oh, as we've deleted the thumbnails, we're also going to have to delete in the database. There's a file called Textures 13. Now, you need to delete that if you've deleted the thumbnails. Otherwise, it will not auto-generate the thumbnails, and you'll have um, a lot of missing artwork. So you can delete that and that'll um that will recreate one of those on the next boot. And it looks as though who's done this build has possibly uh migrated from an old XBMC build, possibly Gotham, to let's say Helix or, or something like that. Because you've got add-ons 15, add-ons 16. How these databases work is you should really only have one of them in there. Um the higher the number relates to the, the higher the XBMC build. So I'm going to delete, uh, well to be honest we can delete the add-ons ones anyway because they will um, auto populate on the next uh, startup so we can delete those. Um, we've got some export files, we don't need those and then we've got music, videos, one channel cache um, as we're not sure, you know, if this is going to be migrated to a Gotham build or a Helix build, I'm going to keep both of those in there. Okay, it, I'm not entirely sure what what this particular user has used, uh, whether he's used Helix or Gotham. So I'm just going to keep them in, both in there. Uh, we could take them out 
It wouldn't make a massive amount of difference to be fair, but if they have scanned in a video library that obviously will make a difference. Uh, that's where all that information is held, the music library and the, the video library. Now that's uh, that's lesson one done. Um, now for the add-on section, uh, we could go through that and we could delete any ones that aren't currently being used. You know, you might still have something that you've, you've completely forgot about and thought, oh yeah, that shouldn't be in there. So I, could, you know, just looking through this now, iPlayer. I know that that no longer works. That can come out. Uh, we've got. What else have we got in there? I wonder if uh, the likes of Mashup maybe is that in there? Movies 25. Yep, Movies 25, so that can come out. And then you've got that no longer exists. Mashup, that can come out, that no longer exists. Um, but you get the idea. You know, you can go through there and, and delete whatever's no longer uh, valid. So, Weather Underground, that no longer works. Files that are quite big. Um, skins they're probably the biggest so this particular one um, I know they're using Aeon MQ5 so we keep that one but we may as well just delete the others they're not needed so then they've not been set up any special way so to save bandwidth we're going to um, delete those so that's going to save us quite a bit quite a bit more space and as far as um, op optimizing for space, that's probably enough. Um, with the exception of here's another massive one: packages. All right. So 194 megabytes. What that does is it holds a copy, a zip copy. You know, I can go in there, holds a zip copy of everything that you've ever installed. You don't need it. There's no need for it at all. So we can delete that. So already, I think we must have saved over, um, you know, must have saved half a gig, I would imagine, by now, at least. Now, for the uh, the more tricky part, um, I think we will stop there and we go into a second guide.